Oh yes, graphics card pricing and availability is finally starting to return to normal. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Exter. Exter is the world's largest smart wallet brand bringing innovative and compact designs right to your pocket. What's great about Exter wallets is that unlike many other traditional wallets, they're small and easy to carry around wherever you go, avoiding the horrid wallet bulge. Additionally, Exter wallets have an RFID blocking plate, a band to hold your cash, and can easily eject your cards with the push of a button, making payments faster than ever. And right now through June 20th, Exter is running a Father's Day sale with up to 25% off site wide. So if you want a modern, compact, and utilitarian wallet, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. That's right, it's happening. Pretty soon you may actually be able to just walk into a store and buy an RTX 30 series or RX 6000 series GPU, and I'm getting really excited, guys, because, you know, the last time we talked about GPU availability and pricing, you know, I did guess that the AMD GPUs would start to get a lot better in terms of their pricing and then would shorten be followed by the NVIDIA GPUs, but this is actually happening a lot faster than I thought it actually would. Now, we're going to go ahead and first talk about some hard numbers here. We're going to get you that hard-hitting numbers, that data, and then I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on when things are going to completely resolve, because although things have drastically improved over the last month or so here, there's definitely a lot of room here for improvement as the prices are still a little bit high. But first of all, let's go ahead and talk about that data. So recently over on VideoCards.com, there was an article posted where they saw some information from the website 3dcenter.org and apparently according to 3d center in Europe they've been actually keeping track of a lot of data when it comes to the price of GPUs for a long time and they went ahead and actually posted this uh, little chart here and if we take a look we can see that just a little bit ago GPU prices hit an all-time high where Nvidia GPUs were over three times as expensive as they're actually supposed to be which is just absolutely ludicrous however if we take a look at the pricing right now we can can see that it's been dropping recently significantly in fact and right now if we take a look at the Nvidia cards at least we can see that it's actually under two times the MSRP so that's definitely a huge improvement although a lot of you probably are still gonna be groaning saying hey you know nearly two times over the MSRP is definitely not good to see but keep in mind this is in Europe this is not in the US and I will talk about some US numbers that I've been keeping track of recently in just a second here uh, but still overall going from three times MSRP to two times MSRP in a short time span is definitely definitely good to see and it looks like it is starting to trend downwards and if this trend does continue well then pretty soon here I think you are going to see first AMD start to hit their MSRP and then second Nvidia now the reason why I say that is because AMD has been on store shelves for a lot longer and on top of that the demand for AMD GPUs does seem to be significantly less however it is possible that Nvidia could hit MSRP first if a bunch of crypto miners start dumping their GPUs over on eBay and that's the next thing I want to talk about so I personally have been keeping track of a lot of numbers over over on at least the secondhand market over on eBay for the US. And I've seen some similar numbers here where we're definitely seeing some decreased prices for the RTX 30 series GPUs. And specifically, I've been keeping track of the RTX 3080. That's right, the elusive RTX 3080. And what I've seen is that, you know, when I first started keeping track of it, it was going for around $2,300 for the buy it now price. Uh, when I was sorting from lowest to highest, you could reasonably get it for about $2,300 at that time. Now, since then, I had a couple more updates. It then went down to like two thousand US dollars then it went down to eighteen hundred US dollars and if we take a look today you can actually purchase an RTX 3080 for around sixteen hundred US dollars so yeah it looks like similarly to Europe we are also getting an option in the US where yeah around two times the MSRP you can get an RTX 3080 whereas some other cards are actually going to be even less than two times the MSRP so there's definitely been a huge improvement there but you might be asking yourself the question well, why is this actually happening? And the reason why I believe, or at least the majority of the reason why uh, these GPU prices are starting to plummet and have been plummeting for some time is something that I've talked about in the past, and that's that the actual mining profits on these GPUs has been going down and has been staying down for a long time. And in fact, if we take a look at the recent trends in the crypto prices, especially taking a look at Ethereum, which is the main cryptocurrency that people like to mine with their GPUs, we can see that it has been trending downwards and it recently hit an all-time lower 
not, sorry, not an all time low, but an all time low recently of around 1800 US dollars, which is definitely a huge decrease from its all time high of over 4000 US dollars and has kind of been staying steady at around 2000 ish dollars. Uh, it was around 2300 for a while and it has been decreasing since then. And uh, right now it looks like it's going back uh, up a little bit, though I do expect it is probably going to settle a little bit lower here. And you know, with the decreased prices, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, why is crypto decreasing? Well, it looks like a lot of that has to do with some serious crackdowns coming from China when it comes to, uh, you know, how they're handling cryptocurrency. You basically can't be crypto mining over in China anymore. They're getting very strict about it. And this has caused a huge plummet in the price of not only Bitcoin, but also Ethereum. So, of course, uh, with Ethereum being a main currency that a lot of GPU miners like to use, well, with that currency going down significantly, this has led to a situation where the profits are down uh, significantly as well. So you're actually down around $3 a day, a little over $3 a day right now for a single RTX 3070. Uh, it kind of was trending around $7.50 a day for a long time. And in fact, at one point, it even hit an all-time high of around $16 a day on a single RTX 3070. So to go from $16 a day all the way down to $3 a day, and in fact, I did see it drop below $3 for a while. And as the dust settles, I do expect the profitability for these GPUs to actually uh, drop even further as a large portion as to why it actually went up a little bit recently is because there's been a lot of activity of buying and selling. So once that kind of cools off, I do expect it is going to lower even further. So yeah, it looks like the profitability is way, way down. That has contributed to a reduction in the price of GPU. So for all of the people out there, I've seen bizarrely saying that, you know, crypto has nothing to do with the increased prices and decreasing availability of GPUs. Well, it looks like the proof is in the pudding and it looks like, yes, in fact, uh, the cryptocurrency boom has had a huge impact and absolutely massive impact in not only the price, but also the availability of RTX GPUs specifically, but also the RX 6000 series GPUs as well. But now you might be asking, okay, well, this is all sounding good, but where do we go from here? Is it going to actually eventually hit the MSRP? You know, when is that going to happen? And so, you know, my opinion on this is that, yes, I think eventually these GPUs will hit MSRP. It's not going to happen overnight, although there have been a lot of quick changes happening recently. I do expect it is going to take a little bit of time here still for prices to get back down to a sane level. And in order for that to happen, we're all going to need to band together and actually reject the current prices right now. Because uh, what you're seeing now, and this is something we haven't seen before, is not only are there AMD GPUs available on websites such as Newegg.com, but there's also NVIDIA GPUs available right now on Newegg.com. And in fact, I believe they're also being sold by Newegg as well, or at least I believe I saw some uh, for a little bit here. So if you want these prices to continue to decrease and they have been decreasing week by week, well, what we're going to have to do is reject these prices right now. So I know it's going to be tempting because you can actually go over on Newegg and you can buy a 6800 XT or you can buy an RTX 3080. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to say, no, I refuse to pay over $1,000 for these GPUs. I won't buy these GPUs until they hit their MSRP. And if we all band together and do that, it is going to happen a lot, lot quicker. So if you can just resist the urge to go out there and panic purchase a GPU and you can wait it out and you can just reject these ridiculous prices. Yes, it's going to happen a lot faster and eventually probably over the next couple of months here, you probably will start to see these GPUs hit their MSRP or at least hopefully that will end up happening. Now, what you're going to see is a lot of people are going to be online and saying that crypto is going to take off once again. Now, is this actually going to happen? That's something we don't know for sure, but you got to keep in mind that cryptocurrency is a currency that's completely based off of your faith. It has absolutely no inherent value whatsoever. It's not backed by anything at all. So the only reason why cryptocurrency is worth anything whatsoever, and this is, you know, in part true for a lot of currencies, is that it's just based on what people believe it's worth. So what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of people online saying that, yeah, cryptocurrency is going to take off once again. And the only reason they're saying that there's no reason whatsoever that would actually happen. The only reason they're saying that is because they're emotionally invested and they're financially invested in cryptocurrency taking off. So if you don't want that to happen and you want this to continue to trend downwards and also allow for GPUs to get cheaper, what you're going to have to do is just don't believe them. If you just don't believe that cryptocurrency is going to be worth a lot of money and you tell other people you don't believe it's going to be worth a lot of money, that's actually going to contribute to cryptocurrency being worth less because it's based on what you believe. So if there's people in the comments saying, hey, it's going to be worth $10,000 next month and you just say, no, it's not, 
that actually might contribute to it actually being worth less. So just keep that in mind. But you know, ultimately, I do think within the next two to three months, you are going to see at least some of the GPU SKUs start to hit their MSRP. At least hopefully that does end up happening uh, with cards like the RTX 3080, which are extremely good at mining as well as them being very difficult to find and pretty much being replaced by the RTX 3080 Ti. Those type of GPUs, I think, are going to take a lot longer. So the 3080, the 3060 Ti, uh, maybe even the 6800 XT are going to take a lot longer. Uh, but those GPUs like the 3090, 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti, uh, and the 6700 XT, I do expect those GPUs to fairly soon here actually start hitting their MSRP. And honestly, guys, this is really, really great news. I can't wait for this to happen. I do really think we're at the beginning of the end here, and there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. But hey, that's just what I think. When do you think these GPUs are actually going to hit their MSRP, if ever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.